Darren here, CBMZ, Carolina Beach Music Zone is what it is, folks, and I have caught up with the Lakeside Drive Band, Candy Girl, you have heard of. It has shot up the charts. It is there. I think every Carolina Beach Music chart, it is there. And we also got I'm Still in Love with You, which just came on the charts. It's like up in night, like number 30 now on John Hook's chart. Incredible. Gene Farr singing on that with these guys, and we're going to talk a little bit about that coming up a little later on. Right now, as we look around, Paul, we got Paul and Mike. I don't know the rest of the band yet, and you don't either, but we're going to learn those guys before this is over. Paul, how you, how you doing, man? Doing great. Doing great. Well, I tell you, Mike, how are you? Super duper. Super duper, and we have one microphone. Great, great production here. How's the rest of the band? Hey, yeah, I feel like I'm in concert here or something. We're like, <laughs> in unison. Well, I tell you, who should I talk to first? I want a little information to tell the folks out there on CBMZ about Lakeside Drive. And, and I've heard a little bit of it over the years because I remember uh, with Darren and Anita on Grand Strand, the radio show in Mount Holly, North Carolina, and it was an incredible kind of thing. You guys come up, and I believe it was you, Mike, come up and handed us a CD. He said, here, you got to listen to this. You got to play it. And I'm like, okay, we have a lot of bands do that and I'm like I go home I listen to it and it wasn't even a week this thing was like on the charts and and I'm not talking about just on the charts it was scooting up the charts Paul how did Lakeside Drive come together how did Candy Girl happen how, how did all that work for you hmm well Mike wrote it of course Mike wrote it but this came together about a year ago I'd say uh, um, or actually before that Mike and I talked about putting a group together uh, that doing the stuff that we wanted to do right. and also doing some original material and Mike is a writer uh, darn good writer so we put that together a couple of years ago sitting on his patio talking about it and um, was there a cold beer over this? Uh, a few. <laughs> a few a few toddies for the a vodka maybe yeah, okay. a vodka maybe there you go. my man right there no, yeah and uh, from there we just started to, uh, to find some members that uh, would fit with us and we lucked up big time and found three others right here that just uh, fit like a glove. Clicked it off. I'm and, gonna, are, and are still fitting, you know. So. To jump in there tonight, this is the first night. We're at Charlie's Restaurant and Club in Gastonia, North Carolina. This is the first night that I've got to catch up with you guys and actually see you live. Ken Knox, with the chairman of the board, has been here tonight. And f from coming from the chairman of the board, he was sitting there just giving you praise yeah. with what you guys are doing. And I'm like going, wow. These guys, really, from the first CD hand, I'm like, wow, these guys are good. Now, now tell me, and we're going to bring another f person into this conversation here in a few minutes that have, has helped you guys out, I guess, along the way. Tell us as we go around, and I'm going to pass the microphone around in this, folks, because, you know, our production staff is a little short right now. Benji Creaseman, we'd like to thank him. I'm, I'm going to throw it out for you, Benji, back there. We're going to pass it around, let everybody in the band introduce themselves and tell us uh, a little bit about uh, what's going on with Lakeside Drive. So can we do that, Paul? I think I've already done my part. So Have you done your part? Uh, uh, telling you, yes. Well, I don't, Mike hasn't done his part. And he, he's the writer. That, exactly. So he can tell you a lot. He can tell you a lot. So here we go. We're going to pass it around. And, Mike, I'm going to go to you first, and we'll pass it back. So, Mike, here we go. Well, thank you, Darren. Uh, thank you very much, Darren. My name is Mike Howard. I play keys and bass. For the band and I sing I do writing for the band uh, l l let me tell you a little bit about this though Paul was mentioning we first got the band together uh, Paul and I played together with uh, the Georgia Prophets back in uh, when was it Paul uh, late 70s yeah late 70s and that's how we knew each other and uh, I had moved to Florida and I stayed down there quite a while uh, and I came back and and uh, looked my old buddy up I said man Let's get back into Carolina Beach music. And by golly, that's what we did, put this little thing together. But yeah, and, and it's been a fun, it's been a fun thing. And I appreciate all you guys out there, what you're doing for us, you know, letting us do our thing. Now, I want to introduce the rest of the guys over here, let them introduce themselves, okay? We got our sax player. I'm Jason Barker, uh, originally from Raleigh. Uh, so I've been, you know, listening to Carolina Beach music since I was born. Yeah. yeah. And, that's right, and um, well, basically I uh, answered a uh, ad online. Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sort of. Well, they had to do it on Craigslist, but actually, this is some other. This is, this is a website that I've anyways. I uh, they said, well, come on and audition. We got some other saxophone player that's already gonna been talking to us, but we'll go ahead and, and listen to you. So, I uh, 
came and auditioned, and uh, then they asked me to come back and, and practice with them. And then I came and said, well, I'll add a couple songs to the mix and then practice some more. And then uh, a few weeks went by, and then we got a gig, and then we got another gig, and then we got a few more gigs. And uh, here, here we are a year later, and I really want to ask you guys, am I in? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think you passed the audition. Yeah, okay, yeah. just just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So, all, all right, right. Mike, who else do we have? Okay, we also got our guitar. We're going to save the prettiest for the last of you. Okay, okay Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Al over here. Go ahead, Mr. Al. Hello, my name's Albert Ebley. I'm originally from South Jersey. Uh, moved all over the country, spent some time in California, eventually moved to North Carolina. Uh, I'm basically new to the beach music scene. I've been involved about a year and a half now, well, actually since I met Mike and Paul. Uh, whole new genre for me, whole new uh, set of skills you got to learn for this kind of music. <laughs> it's different. It <laughs> but uh, I, I really enjoy the music, I enjoy the people, uh, I really enjoy watching people dance. I think if, if you're a musician, that's that's what you do it for, is, is the enjoyment of seeing other people enjoy your music. Uh, it's, it's a great thing we're putting together here. I thank Mike and Paul. They do a lot of the work for the band and also Jason over there. And uh, I hope to go a long way with this band. Uh, as you see, we're not youngsters anymore, but we still like to play and we still like to have a good time. And uh, we're still hanging in there. So. There you go, man. Uh, Thank you, sir. The prettiest for last. The youngsters. Yes, That's right, exactly right. Miss Tara. Hi. Um, I'm Tara Crotty. I'm also new to beach music. I actually am new to North Carolina. Moved here about a year ago from Indiana. I'm originally from Ohio. I've spent some time in California too. Um, so this is this is all new for me too. And like Jason, I, I didn't even answer an ad. I got an email from an ad that I had put out. Um, I'm a classically trained trumpet player, so this is, this is new to me too. Um, but Mike emailed me and asked if I'd be interested in sitting in with these guys. And so I did. And here we are. It's a lot of fun. And she does a great job, too. Now, I have to tell you, Darren, uh, after we got this little group together, Paul and I were thinking, you know, it would be great to have a little song out to play on the radio, try to get us a gig. Well, I wrote this little thing called Candy Girl, and uh, we sent it to every beach music station that we knew of, right? Oh, yeah. Sent it around there, said, maybe maybe we'll get a couple of gigs out of this thing. Well, guess what happened? We qualify for a uh, non-profit mailing. <laughs> right. yeah. But anyway, I'll tell you what. At, at, when it hit cash box, I was just like floored. You know, when, when David Wade, by the way, we are with uh, Shanty's Records in Myrtle Beach. Uh, Mr. David Wade is our producer. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, when David told me that this thing has hit cash box number 40, I about hit the floor. Because, Darren, we, we had made this thing really as like a demo. And we souped it up a little bit, you know, for radio airplay. And, uh, by golly, the rest is history. It went up the charts. <laughs> yeah. It went up the charts. I tell you, Mike, Paul, the band, I tell you, it's an incredible job. What I've seen tonight, if you ever get to see Lakeside Drive, live you need to take that time drive an hour if you got drive four hours if you got to to see these guys incredible job they're doing and i tell you to talk to the band and to learn a bit we got two folks from up north somewhat and <laughs> you bring into the carolina beach music world which is really cool i think to to see that because it it, it takes it's, it's rhythm and blues to a degree is sort of how it all started but the music i tell everybody even on the radio show it's music that's still being made in the carolinas that that was around you know 50 years ago but it's still here and it and, and and we're trying I think with our gold in the radio show with Darren and Anita is to take the music to a larger our medium Thanks. to a bigger audience kind of thing out there well I tell you another thing that helped you guys or I'm not gonna say helped but but increased it I think a little bit is with Continental Divide Gene Farr who is with Continental Divide come out I guess I don't know how to say this or how it all to come Gene come into the shot here he's gonna take a chair with us a little bit Hell yeah. And tell us how all that happened for Gene coming in and, and, and seeing all that. So, Gene, I'm going to let you tell that story because I've talked to these guys and we've heard how Lakeside Drive got going. And, Gene, your song right now, I'm Still in Love with You, is the song that not just one song on the charts but two songs on Cashbox and then John Hook's chart. And it's even on Beach Music 45. It's in the bubbling under. It's hot, Beach Music 45. So, Gene, I'm going to pass this along to you and tell us – Tell us how this came about with uh, Lakeside Drive. 
You know, it's dangerous to let me have a microphone. It's, <laughs> it's dangerous, but we do it. <laughs> After seeing it, well, thing, well, what actually happened, I mean, Paul and, uh, and, and Mike uh, are friends that I've seen with before. But um, I was sitting at home. I was just got through having a conversation with a friend of mine, and my phone rang again. And it, it's Mike. Mike said, Gene, what? Listen. Can you sing this? I, I said, okay, yeah. Listen to a demo. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. then we met, and he gave me a copy of the demo, and I took it home, learned it, and went out and cut it. And, you know, they, uh, they did a terrific job, these two guys. And, of course, the rest of the guys back here did a fantastic, and young lady, so I'm pointing to her, too. And uh, it turned out to be a very good song, and uh, I'm, I'm very honored to, to sung to have sung this song with the guys and I and you can see I like to have fun that's you know and that's that's the key make people have a good time so when they leave here they say I had fun with the band and that's what it's all about Mr. Gene Farr right there, and I tell you, we're passing the mic around, and one of these days when we get a real studio and we're working on that, we've got like even chroma key that we're working on, folks. But we're going to bring some folks in, like Lakeside Drive, Gene Farr, and we're going to talk to them live. And we're on the radio right now. You can catch a lot of this interview if you want to see it. See it. Actually, you can see it. CBMZ is what it is. Darren and Anita on Grand Strand is where you can find it, grandstrandshow.com. And i got to thank these guys so much because we're between breaks and sets right now and I pull these guys up there they come off the stage sweating and and we're like pulling them up there guys thank you so much Lakeside Drive thank you thank you thank you and and here they are let's pan around if we can get uh, Benji over there to pan around a little bit thank you guys so much for the interview CBMZ Darren and Anita on Grand Strand GrandStrandShow.com and also check out CBMZ online.com what's happening in the Carolina Beach music world Southern Soul we bring to you now it's all right there this is Darren we'll see you next time <laughs>